Hello SCX Digital Fans. Today I would like to present you the first video tutorial presented from Slot Hobby Solutions DE. The first video will cover how you need to set up a race with a PC lab counter with few level usage if you are not having the SCX control unit with the PIT function. That doesn't mean you can use PC lab counter only for counting laps. If you have the old or the former um, control unit, you can really use the solution for a real racing experience. PC lab counter is able to take over the fuel level usage calculation and the pit stop function and I will explain on what you need to do on how you need to configure PC lab counter in order to allow you to use that function. So, I will now, now explain on what you need to do with the PC lab counter to allow the system to take over the fuel usage calculation and the pit stop function. So, what do you need to do? The first thing you do, go to the options menu go to the fuel tab and there are four items you need to think about because this will influence the behavior dramatically. The first two items is the refuel speed and the low fuel alert. The refuel speed defines the speed of how many liters will go into your tank when you are in the pit and you are in the refueling mode. The second one is the alert tone which you will hear when the fuel level reaches a certain level in your tank. I've defined refuel speed 8 liters per second and the low fuel level alert at 20 liters. But that is I would suggest your experience with the function but here's the information where you can define it. So there are two other options which you need to think about. Add a lap after pit stop. This is really depending on how you have defined and how you have um, built up your pit. So when the car is leaving the pit and is not passing this start finish line, then you have to tick that box. I will show you an example in a minute. And the next function and the latest function which you need to think about in this um, uh, option is the driver race is ended when the car is out of fuel. So you can choose two options if, if no means the driver race is not finished, but every time he's passing the start finish line, the lap is not counted. So now I'll show you a little an example for the first item here. So here you can see a pit stop with the old MCU. And you can see if the car is coming into the pit stop, get into the refuel mode and leaving the pit, it is not passing the start finish line, meaning a lap would not be counted. So that is the reason why you have to tick that box and add a lap after a pit stop. So the next option you need to think about is when do you want to have a pit stop being activated? As you don't have a pit stop entry detection, you will do this via the button on the throttle. So you go to the options menu, go to detection, choose the setup button and then you see generate pit in when lane change button is pressed more than x seconds and the zero throttle uh, is detected meaning you're not pressing this, uh, the throttle and you press the, uh, the button for more than three seconds and that will activate the pit and refuel function I'll show you how that will work in a minute the next question you might raise yourself is how do you define the fuel level consumption? You can do that per car. You have a manual option or a calibration option. The manual one is pretty simple. You go to the car menu, click on the fuel tab and here you can enter the appropriate value. But I advise to use the calibration because that is really convenient and you don't need to think about the formula. So I'll show you what you need to do now on how to do a calibration. I will do the explanation with two cars, with the, the new Porsche and 
a self-made Maserati which I have converted into digital and you can see really the difference because there is a different motor the calibration uh, will be completely different and the result will be different. I'll show you the difference in a minute. You go to the new race, enter the two drivers, choose the cars for those drivers and enter the fuel tab. Now in order to activate now that PCLC is doing the um, pit fuel and the fuel level um, calculation you have to click that button race with fuel management. Just for the calibration you use this session to calibrate full consumption to obtain a consumption of uh, those cars. You define how many liters per lap you want to have defined for all the cars. Press OK and then this window will appear. I will zoom it a little bit to show you the functions. Now you start the race by clicking the button on the MCU, the start button, and the race starts. So uh, I will do now a few laps with the Maserati and a few laps with the Porsche and then I explain the values here. You can sh see that every, for every lap uh, the, the actual fuel consumption is presented, the calibrated value and the fuel level consumption calculation you will see the value here. So I will stop now and do five laps per car and then you will see the difference. I have done now five laps with each car and you can see the values here. I did five laps, the actual food consumption, the total throttle has been received during that lapse and the calibrated throttle value and the fuel consumption level which is 10 liters per lap. If you now click the apply calibration to the car setting then you will save the the settings to the car and you don't have to do the calibration again. That means it's safe now for every car and, if you, and so you can define for each car a different fuel level consumption and, and calculation which is pretty convenient. So if, like in the real environment different cars, different motor power is having different fuel level consumption and fuel level usage. So feel free to play with it and you will see the difference. Now I will show you how the fuel level and pit stop is working. To start a race go to a new race button, define the drivers, define the cars, click on the fuel again just to ensure that you have the race with, uh, with fuel management activated but now you need to untick the calibration function otherwise the calibration window will um, come up again. Go to the race type, define whether you have limited or time limited races, press OK, press the button on the system and the race is starting. So you can see here the fuel level is decreasing and now it's time or uh, I show you uh, just for this example go into the pins so and the car is coming now into the pit you stop in the pit press the throttle for three seconds you hear now the tone that means the pit has been activated refueling starts you hear the go sound and so now you can leave and start the race again. And that happens on the screen when you're in the pit. You activate the pit function by pressing the LC button three seconds. You can see the refuel is automatically starting. And now you can leave the pit. That's it. So there's nothing you need to do anymore. I wish you now a, having a f fun race and if you have any questions don't hesitate to send me a mail uh, or guy a mail and we will explain more details about that function. Have fun with your control unit and uh, looking forward to hear from you.